Hello everyone and welcome back to an unanticipated Guam Antonio B1 Pont International Airport. So yes, I said I wasn't going to do one of these until I got the new United 777-300 from Aviation 400. And I still have not gotten that one yet, but you know, sometimes you just have to do an airport update. And I think I have enough reason to do this one here. And you'll see why later. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll just get started with the video. Actually, you might have already see what it is in the th thumbnail. But uh, we have a... It's been a long time since we've gone to Guam, so I'm excited to be back here. Hopefully we'll be getting the 777-300 for United soon, but I don't quite know when that is going to be arriving. Um, but when it does, uh, we'll have a nice new addition here to add to Guam. But anyways, we'll start here with this new model. This is the Jenner, uh 737 900 I'm looking for an 800 here. The Genera does have one 77900, but it does not have winglets. And uh, I don't have another Shapeways model 737800, so I had the 737900 and decided to make it into a Genera 737900. So this is what we're using here today. This one came in from Seoul, and it will be heading back out to Seoul Incheon. Our next aircraft here is this United Airlines 737700, filling in for an 800 in the Evo Blue livery. This one came in about uh, two hours late from Shaman, and it'll be heading out to Irai. So, haven't heard those destinations in a while. Of course, Guam is kind of a united hub. I don't know if, I guess that is a, it is a hub technically, but I think it's more of a focus city for United considering that, uh, I mean, they don't really get a whole ton of flights here, but they are the largest airline here. Of course, Guam, a uh, territory of the United States, so, I guess it makes sense that they have a large presence of a U.S. airline here, and it's pretty cool to see all these United Narrow bodies flying to Guam, even though it's far away. It's closer to China than the U.S., and a lot of other places in Asia than the U.S. <laughs> here we have the regular Continental Globe livery, United 737-800. Um, this one came in from Tokyo Narita, and they'll be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. So, uh... Pretty regular here. This one we see quite often here at Guam, so it's good to still get it back in here. Uh, of course, I love using this aircraft. And here are two more United Sun 37s. We'll start with the 800 in the Star Alliance livery. Uh, this one came in from Chuk on the Island Hopper, and it'll be later heading out to Manila. And then our next aircraft back here, we have the uh, 737 900 in the Eco Skies livery. We're looking for another 800 here, and this one also came in from Tokyo Narita. But this will be heading out to Yap. I don't, or I don't know what that airport is. I have not seen it uh, yet on here, but it is just YAP. That's also the airport code in Key Alpha Papa. So uh, I hope that's how you pronounce that. But uh, I'm not quite sure, as I've never seen that uh, route before. So, but it's cool to see here uh, some new routes being added. Uh, and I mean, it is popping up here. As I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just looking at Flight Radar right now. Just looking to see uh, what flights are operating, and it appears to just be that one. So uh, I'm not quite sure what that is, and maybe it's just not very frequent. But uh, that's that's one that I haven't seen yet, so that's pretty cool to see there. And of course, I uh, love using these United 737s, uh, having the full collection and pretty much all of the Guam airport updates. I'm kind of just reminding you a lot of the things that you, know, you might have forgotten about or haven't seen in a while, or to my new viewers, because I have not done Guam uh, Guam Airport update in a long time, so just maybe refreshing your memory a little bit on a lot of stuff that happens here at Guam. So uh, to those of you who this is your first time watching a Guam update, uh, welcome, uh, and I hope you enjoy them in the future because I do plan on doing more even though I have not done one in a while. And next here we have the United 777-200. This is a Dara model. This is what I'm using in replacement of the Aviation 400 333. Uh, but yeah, this one is also probably, uh, grounded right now, because, you know, uh, United and their groundings of the uh, 777-200, which is currently taking place, that's kind of causing a lot of trouble for them, and I think we've had some cancellations here at Guam, we had one from Hong Kong, I believe, that got cancelled, one from Xiamen that got cancelled, I think we're supposed to be in the 777-200, so, uh, that's not very good there, but, um, we'll just, uh, use this one 
in place of those. Those are, of course, the ones with the Pratt & Whitney uh, engines. Those are the same ones that had the, the engine explosion, but uh, those have now been uh, grounded to do more inspections from that because they didn't do them properly or something. And yeah, so <laughs> this is just filling in for a 777-300, though, and I hope to get that 333 in soon because that would be... that should be an absolutely gorgeous model and a lot better than this Darren model. But this one came in from Honolulu and it'll be heading out to Hong Kong. And I've been to the cargo section. This is where we see the interesting flight, but we'll, we'll wait on that. We'll start with this uh, 757-200 for ASL Belgium. It's the completely blank 757 that I use in place of an Asia Pacific Airlines 757-200. Uh, of course, NG Models did release the, the Asia Pacific Airlines 757-200, so I probably will be picking that up, but I don't have it on order right now, but it is definitely one that I'm considering in the future. This one came in from Honolulu, and I'll be heading back out there. But uh, this is the really cool sighting here, which I almost guarantee is a military charter. I do guarantee it's a military charter. I don't see any other reason why this would be here. It is the Eastern 767-300. So really cool to see here. This, the actual aircraft was in their fingerprint livery. But I have this model, and I did not think that I'd be able to use it anywhere, but I am able to use it here, and I'm just going to pounce all over that opportunity just so I can use an Eastern, this Eastern model in one of the airport updates. So really cool here. Uh, this one came in from Honolulu, and uh, I'm not quite sure. There's no information on where it's going to be heading back out to. I'm guessing it's going to be heading out to Honolulu just because <laughs> that seems to be the most uh, likely. Uh, that's where it originated from, and considering it's probably delivering military members, I'm guessing that's where it would be heading back to, uh, And but I'm not quite sure. It seems to be based in Shannon, though, so a bit of a ways for that one to, to get over here. But a uh, really, really cool model here, really cool aircraft to visit Guam. I'm super glad to use this aircraft here. Uh, in an airport update because I mean it's just rare it's pretty cool to get in here and uh, hopefully we will see this again at some point but uh, if not for a while and uh, we'll enjoy it here and uh, so that'll, that'll do it for this update of Guam uh, just pretty much did it just to include this eastern model in here because that's just a rare visitor the next Guam update will probably have the United 777-300 though but now that this came in I don't guarantee anything so uh i'm just gonna say probably the next you know did, or the next guam airport update will have the united triple seven three hundred by aviation 400 so with that being said that'll conclude this airport update thank you all for checking it out and i'll see you tomorrow as always good night Auf Wiedersehen.